Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I'm back on the banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, and go comment. So we got another banger with y'all. Uh, we have another video. My bad about that. I'm just trying to get my morning breath together whatsoever. But I don't care. I'm here to give it to y'all. So I got another club banger for y'all. And I, it's funny because I ran out of ideas on what clubs, you know, what to really work with. And, uh, you know, Baltimore don't get, don't get the credit when it comes to, like, being a fun city and us having all the club music, you know. So, um, and also I want to give you a mention. So shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me for all these uh, Baltimore clubs videos. Um, It's pretty interesting. It's been a good run so far. Like I said, I'm not looking for all the views. All of me, I'm, I will let it support, but I'm not looking for no views, no likes. If it doesn't take off, oh well. But I just want to get my my, my opinion and my and uh, share my thoughts on uh, this history of Baltimore. It needs to be talked about, man. So um, let's get on with it, man. Um, we got right here. This is Club Choices. This is also once again another um, another uh, old club. Another um, this club is legendary, man. It was open on the weekends. They were known for their uh, they they um their weekly deals. Man, this is the spot, man. I believe that Choices was my bad job. Like I was saying, yeah, I, I believe that um Choices was located on eighteen thirteen North Charles Street. I, I'm assuming that's downtown. I never been to the club. Like I said, this is more like my parents' generation, man. Like my moms, my pops, my aunts. Like they can tell you, they can tell you this type of stuff. I'm like I can't even give you a full intake on what I say in this club. I've never been here, and um, I, I'm trying to think. I, I believe it opened in the '90s because it's more like a '90s spot. So it was pretty tired on the weekends. Like I said, I wish I would have grew up. In, I wish I would have grew up in that era because in their time of era, they was really going to clubs and having fun. I mean, the violence still kicking off a little bit. As you know, I definitely seen choices on a lot of headlines. You know, follow the news, but um, they had a good run. They definitely had a good run. It was high promoted on the weekends. I've been, I've been a little kid and uh. I used to say every Friday that, oh, yeah, you go to Club Choices, y'all go down there every Friday or Saturday. Man, it's like used to be lit, man. Like I said, I missed out on the time where people was going out having a good time, just not really getting into fights, you know. But things were kind of changing within that time period. A lot of complaints, so people just trying to have fun just went overboard. And uh, I also want to give my, my quick condolences to the uh, legendary Kate Swift. She was definitely in there. She like the promoter of the place. Um, basically, I always hear mention the club. Um, it was like she liked the heart and soul of choices, man. That was like her spot. And uh, this 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 lady right here is so legendary in my eyes, man. I don't think she gets the credit that she deserves, but hey, I'm gonna go and give it to her because this is one of the best DJs that I ever seen. She and she and um, that's actually one of the top DJ females of all time, in my opinion. But um, it kind of gets overshadowed. But I'm not mad. But at the end of the day, she left a landmark. She left some. Um, she left some history behind, so it's good. It's, it's good to. Um, it, I'm I'm proud of that that she uh, she left some some legacy behind her. That's something that kind of family and you know, everybody else can always look up to. And uh, I'm just giving my flowers. You know, like I said, long live um, DJ K Swift. Like I said, one of the best, the best to ever do it. I feel like ever since she's been gone, the 90 Q has not been the same at all. And uh, I, can't, I, I used to always hear on the radio back in the day when I was a kid, you know, talking about, yeah, it's Club Twitches, y'all. Y'all come down there. And right now, we speak, she's at Club Twitches right now. Man, she used to be lit, man. I'm telling you, man. Man, K Swift was way ahead of our time. She was like out in today's world, man. She would have people listen to the radio again. She had her own Instagram page, man. Just imagine if K Swift was hot in today's society, like in my generation. Just imagine. She'd been lit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, she been lit, and she still is lit. Um, like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm almost like a video on her pretty soon, so I'm thinking about how I'm gonna come out this. You know, I'm wanna when I do these type of video, I make sure that I have my facts straight. I don't make sure that I'm not all place with these videos. So it's so important, it's so important that you know just to just to know what you're talking about and make sure you got your facts straight. You know. But yeah, it feel like since she passed away, man, this city has not been the same. It felt like she was definitely, she seemed like she was a peacemaker. She was saying she can get the club, she can let she can get the party or the club, started party jumping, man. Very lit, man. Club Choices definitely had a good run. I mean, I didn't get, I didn't run across inf information. I just went off what people told me from their own experience being there. And they always had a ball, man. Like I said, um, everything has a, a, a beginning and an end. And uh, like most clubs, man, unfortunately, club choices didn't uh, didn't go far as they can could go far as they could for the over um, time period. 
and it happens, you know, it happens in the game, you know, sometimes you just gotta move on and uh, let things go, and that's what happened. And um, this is a new um, spot right here, which is the old um, choices. It's still the same up front, so that's good. They kept the landmark and all the thing that's everything that's left behind. They just changed the title, the gas beats whatsoever. So this is currently the new spot. Um, no more uh, choices. Um, we had a lot of clubs, man. Just a lot of clubs that was in Baltimore. I have no idea about, man. So uh, it's funny how times change, man. Within like five years, ten years, twenty years. Man, years add up, and that can definitely make a difference in these situations like this. But um, like I said, definitely feel good to uh, to once again cover another club. I know I didn't have much information that I that I wanted to uh, share with you guys, but I couldn't run into it. So I'm just giving I'm just this is best, this is really the best of my opinion, and uh, what people told me, you know, from their own experience going to choices in their days. So um, yeah, man, if I miss anything for this video, feel free to do so. With that like, feel free to hit that comment section. Um, I'll be, um, I think I'm done with this, folks. Um, like I said, if I miss anything for this video, feel free to hit that comment section. I'll be looking forward to address that. And let's go in and comment see about the old legendary, um, choices, man. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Um, if you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. We all with the world. You folks have a blessed one. Y'all stay safe out there. Um, I want to also give prayers and my condolences to, um, uh, to some family that's lost, you know, and some friends, man. It's crazy, man. Y'all, please be safe out there, y'all. Got somewhere to go? Just get it. Just, just go and take care of your business and keep it moving, cause it's crazy, man. It's crazy out here, but yeah, y'all stay blessed, man. I'm out.